So I actually like to play some Rainbow Six Siege in my spare time. I'm maybe not the best at the game. Be advised, a bomb. Be advised, located a bomb. One friend. So imagine my shock when I wake up one day to find that, out of all the things I could have changed or fixed in the game, they decided to add a Vulcan mode where you can play the game using the Vulcan API. My first thought was, why? And they actually made a rather lengthy blog post about why exactly they decided to do that. They claimed that with this change, players will be able to reach way high FPS, so it should be all good, right? And there have been reports on live players getting way better FPS when switching over to Vulcan. But is that really true? Well, there's only one way to find out, and that's by checking it out ourselves and seeing if playing in Vulcan actually makes a difference rather than playing with DirectX 11. So one thing that really confused me is that DirectX 11 is a rather old API, it's almost 10 years old at this point. So instead of going to the newer version of it, DirectX 12, why they switch to Vulkan instead? Well in the blog post they talk about them not having great luck with getting better performance with DirectX 12. And unlike DirectX, Vulkan allows for way better access to low level hardware, which means that in theory, there should be better performance. But is that really even true? Well, let's go into a game that supports both DirectX 11 and DirectX 12 to see what kind of performance we get. So I decided to go with the Shadow of the Tomb Raider, all max settings, apart from, you know, ray tracing, and then let's see what kind of performance we get. And contrary to what they have been saying, we've been actually getting way better performance in DirectX 12. But let's just give them the benefit of the doubt, you know? Besides, it has been widely reported online that many developers struggle to really reap the benefits of DirectX 12. So many just abandon ship and instead of going to DirectX 12, go to Vulkan instead as a replacement for the aging DirectX 11 API. Well, enough talking then, let's just see if it makes a difference. So let's just try Rainbow Six Siege in the three different main resolutions and see what kind of performance you get. And, oh, that's... That's rather disappointing. I was promised more FPS, not less. Apart from the minimum FPS is getting a nice boost. Across the board, we're getting less frames with Vulcan. Didn't they promise me more? So clearly something is off. And that's not even the worst part. There are actual differences in the way the game looks between the two APIs as well. In Vulcan, the image overall is way more grainy looking. And apart from that, there are many graphical glitches in it, especially when it comes to shadows. However, many sources claim that there isn't any difference in the actual graphical quality of Vulkan and DirectX. So it all points to that the technology, at least right now, is just not finished. And maybe in time, when Ubisoft improves on the Vulkan implementation in Rainbow Six Siege, we will see some improvements. And is that kind of the crux of the problem? Are their promises just too good to be true right now? But people have been saying online that they have been getting good luck with Vulkan, so what's the deal? Well, the blog post and many online sources claim that Vulkan is especially good at older hardware. So maybe that's it. Maybe just aimed at players who play on older computers. Like in my PC, with Ryzen 3700X and a TTX 80i is, you know, a good modern PC. So maybe that's just not the target machine for Vulkan, at least in the case of Rainbow Six. So instead, I ran a benchmark on my test bench, which includes a FX 8350 CPU and an R9 280X graphics card, so it's a okay-ish PC from about the year 2013. And once again, we'd be getting better results with DirectX 11 versus Vulkan. So that just kind of highlights what can be a giant problem in many games in general, and that is that the implementation of Vulkan at least right now aren't really that great. Especially since, you know, we're not kind of getting the performance they claim. Maybe DirectX 12 really is the future, no matter how annoying it can be to implement. But that difficulty in implementation is the reason many developers switch to Vulkan. So it makes it seem like in a game dev world, there's definitely kind of this weird battle going on ab about direction in terms of what APIs to use next. And I'm no expert on game development, so maybe 
the situation is better. So were the devs of Rainbow Six Siege just lying? Well, thankfully, there's a way we could at least sort of find it out. Thanks to the free mark API overhead benchmark, we can see the relative performance of the different APIs. So I ran on both my PCs to see how the results stack up. And both tests, DirectX 12 completely destroys DirectX 11. How we can at least t see a tiny bit of what many of these developers say about older hardware working better with Vulkan, because the difference between Vulkan and DirectX 12 is way smaller on our older FX8350 and Radeon r 928 x based bench than our modern PC. So I guess the best advice I can give you is just to experiment. Run the benchmark on both and see what it's like. And if we just give people like Ubisoft some more time, and maybe Vulcan will actually perform better. Only time will tell. So for now, excuse me while I go back to Rainbow Six Siege and play with my new favorite character, Iana. She's so good, I think they want her to marry me. But what if you don't even have a good PC to play games like Rainbow Six Siege with, no matter what API? Well, that is where Avrona Systems comes in, because if you're based in the UK, we're kind of, you know, the obvious choice when it comes to your next PC upgrade. You know, I don't want to brag, but we do kind of have PCs at every possible budget. And the main thing is that for the performance you get, you pay way less with us than for other pre-built PCs without any sacrifices being made to quality. So it's a win-win. So definitely check out our PCs on our website, which is linked down in the description below. Also down there, you'll find my Discord if you want to, you know, talk to me or others about this video or whatever else. And also down there you'll find my Patreon if you want to help support the channel monetarily. It really does go a long way in, you know, allowing me to make way, way cooler videos and videos on way more interesting topics. Also, I'd like to thank my Patreons, Barry Yule, and also a super, super special thank you to Ryan Douglas. Thank you ever so, so much. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in what I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.